Okay, no. Uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll proceed like this. Huh? Th this is the no constant aggregation whose magnitude is equal to. So here the block is kept here. So I, I'm going to move this with a constant acceleration whose magnitude is equal to value of acceleration due to gravity. So A naught, which is equal to, in fact, G it is. So initially it is a test. So this is the MS smooth sphere. MS per anything you can write, you can take it. So this is moved here and the block is kept here. So initially what is the state of it? A test. Then as I start moving it, so as I start moving it, so what is the position of this hemisphere will undergo displacement because of acceleration? And then uh, what makes the block to slide? The pseudo force. So here, because of that, the position of block will be here. So what are the forces that are acting? Pseudo force, mg, the weight mg normal contact these are the forces here so which all forces and what is the question asked the question asked is by the time when the when with respect to spear the block undergoes displacement of an angle theta let, let me take here let the block be here now this is that angle theta so what are the forces that are responsible for the displacement of block? Ma, Mg, and the normal contact force, M. So these are the forces that are acting. How the, this is well, the speed of particle with respect to, hey, that uh, sphere, Me sphere doesn't matter smooth here. Sir, but the height uh, of the it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Mass. Wait, 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 wait for question. Wait. Let, let, let me complete here. Hmm. Okay, fine. So th this will be the thing, no? Okay, no. So this will be the speed of the block with respect to this this sphere or hemisphere. Let it be that one. So now we have to calculate this particular v. But tell me, like uh, it has undergone displacement. So this is R. So what is this distance will be R sine theta. This distance is R cos theta. So what is height? It has descended H. So, so shall I apply conservation of mechanical energy? I just picked up this problem. Can I apply conservation of mechanical energy? Look at the pseudo force. So it is some sort of like external force, no? External force. So work done by it will be non-zero along with the weight, the pseudo force and normal contact acting. Work done by normal contact will be zero with respect to the wedge frame or you can say with this hemisphere or sphere frame. So only what happened, what are the forces that are doing work with respect to wedge frame, the pseudo force and the weight. So can we apply conservation of mechanic energy? The answer is no. So therefore what shall I do? I'll go for the work energy theorem, initial kinetic energy plus work done by pseudo force, work done the by weight, work done by normal contact equal to final kinetic energy. Initially it was a test. Finally, uh, pseudo force, what is the work done by pseudo force? MAR sine theta. How pseudo force will act horizontally? MAR sine theta. Work done by the gravity, MG into H. Work done by normal contact, zero. Final kinetic energy, mv square by two. Mar sine theta mg. What is h? H should be r minus r cos theta. Solve this, you'll get expression for v. Okay, this is very important here now, pseudo force. I think the sphere or hemisphere doesn't matter. So if you want to make it that complete sphere in your nodes. 
fine. Just to save some space, no, I just made it hemisphere. I'll come for this. Power one, later part we'll discuss. So time being, <laughs> we'll focus on the 